Hey everyone, welcome back to the sunny side. I'm Sonny, and today we're going to turn that major scale that I showed you last week, or whenever I did that thing, uh, I'm going to show you how to turn it into jazz. Seriously. <laughs> we might not make it to bebop, but actually I'll, we'll practice it in bebop style. And then, you know, it's better practice. In okay, whatever, man. Uh, that's the action. <laughs> so there you go. All right. I guess we cue the introduction now, right? All right, let's cue the introduction. Oh my god, I think I understand jazz now. Chicks are gonna love me forever. <laughs> I'm gonna make lots of money. Chicks are gonna love me forever. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> oh man, don't you wish you studied more math growing up now? A little bit. Here we go. Everybody ready? So here's your exercise. Okay, so let's get back to it. So music's about motion and rest, or like rest, motion, rest. But it's like motion to rest, <laughs> okay? And, and there are different types of motion. In addition to those different types of motion, uh, it arrives in different places. Let's not overly stress that out right now. Um, there's like, and you can manipulate it, whatever. You wish, Sonny. <laughs> I do wish. I do wish. Okay, here we go. So here's the deal, man. So you're playing, you're going to play. So here we go. No music, no PDF. You have to learn this. Okay? And you not only have to learn this, you have to hear this all by itself. <laughs> and so some, and here we go. Uh, some people, Call some of the stuff we're playing tetrachords. Don't worry about it if you don't know it. The uh, I left Humber like 30 years ago, so I don't, I'm not sure that I remember any of that. <laughs> but like, here we go, here we go. So like, here we go. So we're going to play. This is all you have to remember. Into D. Then we're going to play into G. And then we're going to play into C. Yeah, that's a cycle of fourth. Yeah, that's a two five. Yeah, that's a subdominant dominant tonic thing. Yeah, that's a this. Yes, it's that. We're practicing a lot of things at the same time, and here we go. And we're not getting weird about it, you know. Not, not getting weird. Not playing anything scales. We're not playing. Anyways, so here we go. And just to remind you guys, beat one D is beat one. G is so D is beat one of the first bar, G is beat three of the first bar for now, anyways, and C is beat one <laughs> bar two. You guys, cool, it's not really that stressful. No music. Here you go, you have to hear this. Now, here's the deal even though that's the case, we're playing into D, into G, into C. And we're going to start actually picking the pickup bar, right? We're going to pick up into D on B1. Yeah, we are going to play over top the other guy's solo because that's what we do. <laughs> here we go. So we're going to be like, so here we go. Practice as you play, play as you practice. We're going to start on the third. We're going to start on F. Uh, no, sorry. We're going to start on G. I apologize on the end of the preceding three, and we're going to play G, F, E, and then land on beat one on D, right? So it's G, F, E, D. All right, so that's playing into D on beat one. So let's just practice that. Guys, stick with this, right? I didn't show you guys the thing that happens right at the beginning while you guys got to stick with this. So you guys studying with me, you better stick with it. So here you go. By the end of today, you will be good, like really good. So all you're doing is this simple little thing. But we're practicing many things at the same time. OK, so into D, just down. And so you're going to be there. Practice as you play, play as you practice. And you'll be like, oh, man, is this guy ever this wank job going to stop doing that thing? Who invited? Oh, my God. Oh, hey, that guy. Hey, man. Hey, baby. Oh, oh I got to. Oh, oh, I'm up. I'm up. Is that finished yet? Okay, whatever. Into D, here we go. Everybody's up. Meet, bam. Here we go. Nice. You guys cool? <laughs> that's it. That's what you, that's, 
But first thing you practice. Okay. Seriously. Now, seriously, guys. I want you to practice this until you get so bored it's not even funny. Because when you get bored, that's when you're going to do the magic. So here we go. So we st so nothing complicated. We're just playing from G down to D. Oh, jazz juice. Then we're going to play from... Then we're going to play into G. So we're on beat one, which is a D. And we're going to play into G from C. Because we're going down. This is how we're descending. So just to like make sure you guys know how to do this, always make sure you know the notes of what you're doing. C, B, A, G. That's the what we're doing next. So on beat one, we played a D. That was our target. However we got there. Right? However we got to that D, that's beat one. So even if you have to like, like push a big D. Because you're like, you know, like. Or, or like, however you got to D, we're there. Today we're getting to D like this. Now we're going to get to G by continuing along. D, G, C, A, C, B, A, G. Guys, cool? So. Oh, Sonny, isn't that a Mixolydian scale? A what? A what? Oh, my goodness. Someone healed. You ain't going to make it very far at the crossroads with words like Mixolydian, bro. I'm telling you straight up. You better keep your ass in that Uber. Here we go. <laughs> so like, oh, you played this play Mixolydian. So David, I gotta... Oh, yeah. Get yourself back to music church. Here we go. This jazz player. Okay. Here we go. Back to the D. Into the D. Into the G. Next, we're going to play into C. Now, we could go down low. But, like, seriously, we're going to start to jazz things up. And one of the things you guys hear about in jazz is this thing of octave displacement. So we could have continued down. Hit the D, down to the G, down to the C. But Sonny clearly doesn't practice the low end of his saxophone. So maybe we're not going to play that on the gig too often unless I have to. Okay? So... Also, it's this jumping up. It's this bing, 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 bing <laughs> up high. It's really, it's what we hear. You know, we're, we're going to boop, 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 boop. So you want to pop up a little bit. Now, you don't want to square pop up, right? We're just talking octaves. We'll talk other stuff at other time, right? But for this exercise, we're going to jump it up an octave. And so here's the rule, though, because you're going to, at the end of today, you're going to get really bored with this exercise and you're going to start to do something with it that I'll show you. Just remember, when you pop it up, you want to pop up on an off beat. All right. So I know in the very first video in that exercise that I gave you, it's like. <laughs> it's like there's a tendency to play like. Because, like, that's how we play. <laughs> that's how we do it. And that's how you play. If you were going to play this exercise I'm giving you today, the whole little thing on this D, G, C thing I'm, we're talking about today, and if you did it, bang on, you would be playing. Like, that's what you would be playing. And you'd be like, hey, Sonny, you know, how come my playing is so square? And I would to race on bone you <laughs> it's like they blow you race on blow you back into shape <laughs> so like it's a clear reason but so you're playing into d into g and now we're going to play into c and here we go <laughs> and each of these little phrases each of these let's call them tetrachords right <laughs> let's just whatever it's not about tetra these little approach kind of notes, let's say, uh, we're approaching by diatonic scale weight. <laughs> so this way of approaching, like it creates a scale. And you want to hear that this sound is that part of this scale chordal tonal center. You want to hear that this go is moving to D. <laughs> All right, 
like moving to D. And I'll give you one. This really weird sound over here. Right? That's not necessarily a tetrachord. Again, I can't remember. <laughs> so, but like, it's um, it's a whole tone situation from F to B. And it's only found in one part of that tonal center. And like, I didn't add any notes. I didn't subtract any notes. I didn't add any funky notes. No accidentals. We're just talking tonal centers. All right, let's get back to it. All right, 10 minutes of blah, blah, 10 minutes of recap. Here we go. So here's your what you should be doing. And you sh here's what you should be practicing until you get so bored it's not even funny. You should be into D, into G, into C. Breathe. Into D, into G, into C. Three. <laughs> hey, did you guys catch that? I got bored. Pretty slick, huh? Told you, stick with the program. Here we go. Into D. All right, that's cool. And now into G. Now we're going to start jazzing it up. Instead of into C going down, so that we get. Oh, no, we wouldn't. Sorry. <laughs> That's not what we get. You can hear it's wrong, right? You can hear it feels wrong. All right. So actually, it feels wrong. And what you have to do at the beginning here is unlearn some of the bad feelings from before. Yeah. <laughs> this is a bad music. To start. <laughs> yes. Okay, whatever. And some of the bad stuff was like that leaping up on the beat. It's weird. <laughs> right? So. We're bebopping it. We're grooving it. We're cool, right? We're we're jazzing it up. We're playing. We're gonna go cut heads, man. You can't stand at the crossroads and be square. That's just not cool. That's so seriously. You gotta be. Anyways, I'm showing you how easy it is. Practice as you play. Play as you practice. Keep it going. Into D. Into G. Into C. All the way down. Let's take that last one and move it up an octave, cause I want it to sound pretty hip. Breathe. All right, I get it. I get it. Z Sunny, I get it. Oh, do you really now, man? Let's start a bar early. Let's start on six chord. Let's start a bar early. Let's go one six. Let's do some six thing action. You get in it? You catching that? Let's try it again. D, G, C. Okay, let's work on this one going to C for a second. So instead of going to C, just um, like F, E, D, C, like this, but let's try and let's mix that up a little bit. Is that getting a little boring? Just playing this over and over again is getting boring. Let's jazz it up. What if I went? So I still went F, E, D, C, but I made a little kind of C detour, you know, like. But like, forget C, I really just ghosted it, right? I could go. Or, or I, maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> so like, keep it. Okay, so whatever. So. Let's do that. I didn't add any chromatics, is any weird stuff. Here we go. Hey, let's do it again. Can we do that? 
Mm, I think I played it too long, right? <laughs> Right? You're halfway through bar one now, believe it or not. You're on G, beat three. If you played from that G, oh, whatever I just played. <laughs> like, we play like, I do that right? I did it right that time. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is, okay, so what I'm trying to say is, you can't add extra in this, um, in the situation, in this gig, in like in whatever the hell we're doing, in this exercise, you can't add extra. And there's a tendency to want to add extra. Don't do it. So we're playing very loose right now. So, but we're staying a little bit discipline at the same time actually so what i was i'm i was trying to do by accident was like the d g and i was going to play like a double g kind of thing and then a c so it's like no i was going to play another g you know sound and then the c so i kind of stretched it out instead of instead of going g c i was playing g another g sound and then c so i I, and we don't want to do that. <laughs> we want to stay very disciplined as if we're playing with the band. So I was going to play. <laughs> See, that kind of was weird. Or maybe I didn't do that. I don't know. <laughs> like, whatever. But whatever. Keep it nice and tight. So there you go, guys. Here's your, your work for now. And you should be working on this for the next little while. Into the D, into the G, into the C. Breathe. Right, you can go into the F next. All right, we'll talk about that another day. But like the D G C, and when you get bored, start mixing it up. And there's one more thing. Remember, we're starting half a bar early into the D, into the G, and you're going into the C with a particular sound. <laughs> Right? Don't stress it out, okay? What? Sorry, sorry. Right? We're going to wiggle the E. So that's what you're going to do. So Sorry. So here's your exercise and here's your homework, guys. Practice the scale at length. And then you're going to find, uh, then you're going to jazz up your way to C. But the first way to jazz up to C is uh, you're going to wiggle a little bit around E to get to C. And that's what you're doing. You're going three to one. So don't stress out that it's three to one. Just know that you're going to wiggle a little bit on C because we tend to end on that. We tend to end a lot of phrases on that third. And from the three, you can get back into loop the exercise, right? So like, everybody be cool. <laughs> so Everybody be cool. Uh, and from C, you can do it as well. But Whatever. So there you go. So here's your exercise. You could get to D another way, right? Right? Then you could play a different G. You know, you could do like different things, right? But for now, this is what we're doing. It's not as like, oh my God, you need so many chops. It's not really like that. <laughs> it's really like, Oh my goodness, I'm so bored of that stupid scale, Sonny. Maybe I should add a half step. No, don't. <laughs> do not. That is a different thing. I don't know why you would do something like that. Here you go. We're aiming for a particular sound. Right? Change that. Change it again. Right? Okay. What else you guys got? You know? What else you got? Ah, sorry, my hand was being a thing. Alright, there you go.
that's your exercise. That's your exercise for the week. Or however long you practice it, play until you get bored and do more. You're going to rock the three right now. Try and loop it around. Do it. Add chords before, after. Figure it out. Practice as you play. Play as you practice. If anybody wants to learn more of this stuff, oh, by all means, subscribe to the channel. Share the video. This is a bit of a long-winded video, you know, 20 minutes long. My videos aren't check in with Sunny videos. This, this is a real, anyways, whatever. Hope you guys enjoyed the show. <laughs> so, like, here we go. From the sunny side, dot, dot, up the sunny, wishing everyone the best of a super, super, super beautiful day. Keep rocking that action. This is how you practice that scale. You're painting these little sounds, and you're at the same time as painting these little sounds, you're bump, you're bopping up against these tone codes, so to speak, right? So you're painting and bopping at the same time, and you're creating this music color thing that's really fun and it's open. It's an open free kind of uh, emotionally logical sound and it's pretty cool and even when it trips out a little weird it's, it still feels good so here you go guys i wish you the absolute best on your musical journey and that's the action that's the action everybody be cool and i'll see you guys soon